What did you say? I already said it. Oh, okay. Are you done? <laughs> yeah, I'm done with that. Sorry. We're in a semi-industrial strip mall just off the freeway in Laguna Niguel, about a mile down from the Costco. Why are we here? This restaurant, Manja con Amore, it's an Italian restaurant. It's been here for a long time. It recently changed owners maybe about a year ago. And ever since then, and even before then, it's been getting rave reviews. In fact, it's right now listed as like Yelp's number one Italian restaurant in Orange County. Who would think it? It's this tiny little place. We've eaten here before. The food is good. That is good. I really like that. Everything is homemade. The pastas are homemade. They make a homemade tiramisu. Their, their desserts are good. Everything's good. So we're gonna go, we're gonna have a late lunch, early dinner. We're gonna show you this Italian restaurant. And if you're in the mood for Italian food, something which Orange County isn't really known for, this is a great place to come. So go take a look at what we're gonna show you and then think about coming here for Italian. Hi, he's here, all kinds of good stuff. We created uh, most of the recipes and she owned the, uh, the restaurant 12 years prior. Oh, oh that eggplant parmesan I got the last time was really good, but... Oh yeah, Very, uh, modernizes the place a little bit. Yeah. Uh, mm. Still playing Godfather music. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she loves butternut squash, so she's probably going to wind up getting clean the two. What do you? I guess the meatballs are more. And we're going to start with a caprese salad because that looks really good, and then young the butternut squash mm -hmm. pasta. Okay, butternut squash ravioli. So we're being pretty decadent today. Um, last time I got the eggplant parmesan, it was amazing. So I'm gonna get it again. But he told me, because I was trying to choose between the eggplant parmesan and the meatballs, she, he said, we can always order it with the side of meatballs. And so that's what we did. Young didn't have coffee this morning. So she ordered a cafe latte for uh, her lunch meal. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's really good. Nice. Good, yeah. strong Italian style coffee. Yeah. Really good and foamy. I like it. Yeah, this reminds me, it's, it's really hard to find good Italian food in Orange County. We finally found this place. You know, there, there was a place down in San Juan Capistrano that was really good, but apparently nobody knew about it. It just shut down, so we can't do a video on it. But this place we came, and like I said, the last time we were really impressed by the food, so we're looking forward to uh, showing it to you guys and let, letting you find it. Um, and this may be our go-to Italian restaurant down here. This reminds Young and me, when we were in Rome, probably about four or five years ago, we went to an Italian restaurant and their food was really good. And everyone says, oh, you can't get good pizza in Rome. You can't get good pizza in Italy. It's really an American thing. Well, there was good pizza there, so. Um, don't believe them when they say you can't get good pizza in Rome. And I understand they have pizza here. I'm not getting that today, but at some point I'm going to try it because so far the Italian food here has been spot on. So we're starting out with something that's pretty traditional. It's a fresh caprese salad. It comes with fresh mozzarella, which is softer than the mozzarella you'll get in the supermarket. The tomatoes here they look really, really juicy, so I'm looking forward to that. Kind of coated a little bit with olive oil, and it's got basil leaves on it. And the flavor of tomatoes, basil, and mozzarella together, classic combination. I love those flavors together. It makes a really good pizza. So we're going to try it here as part of the caprese salad. Yeah, you can put that down. That's the part of video. No, no, that's fine. We, we, we don't mind. We like to video the people as they bring the stuff. We show them. The food coming to the table. It's really good. Okay, and then I got this, uh, other yeah. Great. Okay, thank, thank you. you.
You want to get the entire flavor of the salad together on one fork so you get a basil leaf, the fresh mozzarella, and the tomato. It's hard to screw up that flavor. I mean, come on. Fresh tomatoes, fresh mozzarella, fresh basil. If you like those flavors, you're going to like this salad. It's delicious together. And um, this is really a good version of it. The tomato is quite ripe and juicy. Look at this, really red. You can tell it's super red. It's drizzled with olive oil, and it's got a drizzle of balsamic vinegar on it, which makes it a little bit sweet. This is good. To be honest, if I just had this, it would make me happy. But I'm getting even more stuff. The garlic bread's a standard garlic bread, but it's good. A little butter, a little garlic, a little parsley on it, and a nice, just a good Italian-style bread. Parmesan. Yummy, yeah. yummy. And the butternut squash. Oh. That caprese salad, by the way, that's a perfect example of what I've been saying. If you get really good ingredients, you don't overwork them. You let the quality of the ingredients come through, and you're going to wind up with great food. Lately, Young's been really camera shy, which leaves me as, unfortunately, the person who must eat all the food. So I will do it. This is her butternut squash ravioli um, coated with butter and Parmesan cheese. Real simple ingredients, just everything quality together. Try it. Mm. That is so good. The pasta, which is homemade here, is chewy. The butternut squash inside is sweet. You can taste the nutmeg inside of it, and that's really good. And then it's just coated with a light coating of butter and Parmesan cheese. That is good. I really like that. I like that as much as I like that eggplant Parmesan that I've had before, which I am going to taste again. And this is good. This. The thing I like about this eggplant parmesan, it's not greasy, it's not salty. The sauce is delicious, it's homemade. It's crispy on the outside, it's tender on the inside. It's lovely. Mm. If you're in the mood for Italian food, you don't want a lot of pasta. This actually will fit the bill. It's not super heavy on carbs. It's got some carbs in it. I mean, the, the breading on the eggplant is gonna give you some carbs, but it's still really tasty. And it's, it's a healthier alternative. That still feels really decadent. Now, I've heard about their meatballs. I haven't tried them before, but people seem to rave about them online. So we're gonna try properly, not too heavy, not too light, just got a good mix of pork and beef and then it's got some fillers in there so that it's not like just a super dense meat ball. It's got good flavor and their sauce. Their sauce actually was invented by the original owner of this place, Stella, whose picture is on the wall there. She did a good job with the sauces here. Mm. Everything, everything is worth having here. So far we haven't had anything bad here. Everything's really good. So I couldn't go through an Italian meal without ordering some of their Tiramisu, which is fresh made here. Tiramisu means pick me up because of the coffee on it. And it's got mascarpone cheese, which is a little bit like cream cheese, real creamy. And then it's usually got either vanilla wafers or cake inside. And it's, it's a really nice dish. Super rich. Mm. 
Okay, that's got lady fingers in it. It's really good. Delicious, actually. Look at this. Yeah, it's sweet, it's creamy, it's got the coffee flavor. It's also got coffee in with the um, with the lady fingers. Mm. Okay, I'm in heaven. I could eat this whole thing. I'm not going to, but I could. I'm gonna be good. So that may have been the best Italian meal we've had in Orange County to date. And all in a little shop in a strip mall on the side of the freeway in Laguna Niguel. It was delicious. It was worth the, the wait. Things you, um, you might want to be cognizant of is the fact that they're not open on Saturday. I don't think they're open Sunday either. Uh, they don't serve wine here, but they're in the process of trying to get their beer and wine license. Once they get that, then they'll be serving wine. Uh, I don't know that you can bring your own bottle here because of the lack of the uh, license. But um, even without the wine, maybe bring it in a little styrofoam cup, I don't know. Uh, but even without the wine, this meal was just amazing. Once they get their beer and wine license, it's going to be even better. Probably six months from now, uh, this place will get crowded. It'll get discovered. And then you won't be able to come here and have this wonderful meal like we did without any crowds, without any weight. It was really nice. It's worth the time to find this place, to seek it out, to go get yourself a good Italian meal. If you like good Italian food and you've never really had it because you live in Orange County, come here and try it.